Well, it's a tradition that started five years ago. R random acts of kindness, such as getting someone coffee or leaving coins in the washing machines for strangers. Haiti Clotter shows us how Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union in Bemidji pays it forward. Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union in Bemidji may be closed, but employees are hard at work for the fifth annual Plus It Forward Day. We are just truly grateful to be able to be out in our community, to be able to spread kindness and show others what is how it feels to be kind to other people. By the end of the day, the Boys and Girls Club of the Bemidji area will have a facelift. We're helping reorganize at the club. We're outside working on the grounds. We are inside painting, we're putting together some crafts, we're doing some deep cleaning. The Boys and Girls Club doesn't employ a full-time maintenance worker, so a to-do list of 175 tasks including pulling weeds, painting and mopping takes a lot of manpower. Over 75% of our funding comes from local businesses and local individuals and through our special events. And so it is our community's Boys and Girls Club. And we're thankful for those that, that make this a part of their daily, weekly, and yearly lives. 68 employees are here helping out and giving back for the full day. That equals to about 550 hours of volunteerism. The reaction on some of the kids' faces when they saw their new club was priceless. My reaction was, oh my God. The nearly 200 kids that come to the club after school will have a new and exciting place to learn and do countless activities. I'm going to be happy because I think more people will come in to learn because um, there's new stuff here and I want them to learn more stuff. This was another step forward in reinventing a community area to show kids how much people care about them. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Employees from Bemidji's three Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union locations, they all participated in Plus It Forward Day. Looks like they got some good work done. It sure does. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.